Hi guys and welcome to another video of Rishabh Dhanuki Gaming. I'm back with another video and we're going to talk about how Google is scaling all the Google, uh, I would say, or Android emulators. And it's a very fun and interesting thing that Google has been introducing. So let's talk about it. So this is uh, Google's new uh, version of emulation. Most of you all like have like tried to play your favorite game and while updating it or installing it if you go to your own google apps for example if i'm going to go on clash of clans you will get an option over here in the corner uh it will be uh regarding uh do you want to try this on pc or something like that or you can just play this on the pc so it's basically google plays version of uh like uh or telling you or promoting you this stuff and once you click on I want to apply for this uh, PC version. You will be getting a, a email notification on your Google account, obviously the Gmail account. And over there, if you click there, it will direct you to this page. And it's basically Google's version of uh, emulation of your, their games. And in this games, like they are promoting big screen and added controls, so they are getting they are giving you official keyboard mouse controls for games that they are officially i would say porting to the pc or like they're emulating on the pc and it's obviously of official google experience as they're saying verified and streamless uh, sync across devices so it could be uh i think right now it's just uh windows and linux but later i think they're, in, they're gonna add macbooks and stuff like that i mean you can still uh emulate uh, uh macbook uh like or you can still emulate uh android not Android, Android and even like PC applications uh, through various softwares. I'm gonna make a different video about emulation on the Mac, uh, like emulation of Windows uh, applications on the Mac. That will be a separate video, but you can do that as well. So right now uh, they have uh, introduced this thing and it has these kind of features. It's also showing the games that you can play. Uh, Dragon Mania, Drift, Dog, and some Japanese games, some korean games some chinese games also it has a lot of games they, they said that they've leveled up and they have like use a mouse and keyboard uh to gain agility boost uh, in your performance then they are they are promoting that it can work on a tablet a pc and all those things and immersive yourself in the g game like never before choose uh, get close to action uh in big screen and optimize it. so basically you can do it on the tv as well uh, but right now you have to download it on the Windows device. But you get on there's a there's called they are introducing this application on the what was the device I forgot uh, uh the Samsung TV yeah so they are implementing this on the Samsung TV OS because Samsung TVs might not have all the games that are on Google Play so they are implementing Samsung uh, TVs the Samsung OS to have Samsung TV OS to have these software so this software so that it can emulate uh and play the games with the controllers or whatever stick device they have and it's showing this thing between the phone the a tablet and pc and it's seamless you know like so it's you, you can switch between your ta pc and your phone and it will be seamless experience with your apps you can add rewards as you play and that's pretty cool i understand and the minimum sex are not that super uh, high they're advising you to use an ssd uh with 10 gb of storage but you can obviously use a, a, a hdd as well uh you don't need to officially like have a uh, ssd because ssd is just for fast booting and fast loading stuff but you can work with a uh, normal hdd it's not big of a deal i have uh, i've using i've been using my hdd only so it's not like super slow and stuff like that but yeah i think ssds are kind of preferable uh because obviously of the super smart feed and stuff so yeah then you have you require a basic graphics card so it can be an integrated graphics card if you have external graphics card that's well and good you would need a gp a cpu with at least four uh four cpu physical cores so maybe uh even uh i think pentiums will work uh if you have uh the core cpu or the core ultra cpus which are the new lineups it's also good. Xeon GPUs are also good. So and most of the modern CPUs and uh, past CPUs which have four cores and above are pretty much good. Four cores are not the basic standard. Even in like Celeron's stuff, they have four cores, so it will be good for you to play Android games on that. 
it is a very good opportunity for streamers who want to stream mobile games on the PC and they have official support from Google to officially emulate stuff through their application, which is pretty good. And hardware visualization must be turned on and Windows admin con account should be enabled, except that well, these are the basic parameters. And uh, what do you need to participate in? Uh, so you, these are the certain regions that are eligible for participation in this particular beta. My country, India, is also in this. So you can check your country's availability and like the number of countries they are pushing out now. There might be a few countries. Uh, I think the Philippines are not still included, but they will be included pretty soon. So you can check out for that. Uh, what games are available? Around 100 games. I'll, I'm going to show you the, the emulator itself in a bit so you can get and grasp an idea of how it will look like so i just quickly download this uh i i'll just reinstall it for just to show you how it actually looks like so i'm just gonna like this just gonna show you the installation process so if i'm gonna quickly change uh my screen you can see uh this is the miniature installation window that it looks like and and just gonna show you process to process i'm just gonna not install it on my uh wait can i install it on my other drive or is it mandatory that i have to install i guess as of now it's gonna let me install my c drive so i just keep the c drive over here clean and so it does get installed on the c drive right now so as you can see it's just installed it's a quick process and it's currently on my SSD, uh, so that's cool. It will be fast right now, that's for sure. So it's just installing, it's gonna take some while. Till then I'm gonna talk about like I have uh Clash of Clans, Age of Empires, not Age of Empires, sorry, Clash of Clans, uh what was the other name of the game? Uh I'll just quickly sign up and just log into my account so that will be easy for you all to show me what this looks like. So I am installed and showing I'm logged in, right? So once I'm logged in, I'm just going to show you the, I think I'm showing you the application right now. Yeah, it is. So this is the basic application that is. I'm gonna show you this because it's I I don't know why it's so weirdly rounded up, but this is the basic application. It kind of looks like uh like normal uh store, like a basic store, right? It doesn't have too much fancy shit in it, and it looks pretty cool. And over here you get this uh library. So we have this library I already have these kind of games in right. So I think I have Clash of Clans, uh Badlands, uh Asphalt 9, Angry Birds 2, Alt uh Adventure, Baseball Sauce, Chess, uh 2048, uh Clash of Clans, Fridges Spinner, Jetpack Joyride, and these popular games and I can also go on to the uh, store itself. So if I go here, I go down. You can see I can uh, check out all the games that are available. So if I select any particular category, I have Free Fire. So like that's one of the popular games that people play over here in India. Then I have Ludo King. I have Clash of Clans, uh, Clash Royale, Lord Mobiles. These are the popular games that are currently available right now. But there's multiple games that are gonna come in the future. Genshin Impact. Uh, Lantern, right? Uh, then war uh, robots, 
there's multiple games that are going to come up and maybe available in the future but right off right now these are a lot of games that are available on the like google uh would say play games so like it's official google play games app and you can go ahead and try out uh, multiple of these games and all of them have perfect mouse and keyboard support especially for i'm gonna so for like fps people who are playing these fps uh shooter games i i think i can look the action games so i think the action genre uh you can see that you have shooter games like uh on like action games which require mouse and keyboard position and they're all here and you can all like can play these uh action games with the mouse and keyboard which is pretty interesting to see and you will have more games coming up so like see excited for these games that are coming up and it will have a lot of uh other app supports unfortunately this is uh not like the i would say traditional emulator so it's not you cannot externally source applications through apks which is kind of disappointing because it's not fully functional emulator is just uh the it's a official emulator so it only supports official apps that are downloaded or installed from the store itself so that's kind of disappointing and you can uh only uh like you have to for using this application you have to log into your official account to obviously gather your apps and stuff like that that you have or you might have purchased and so that that's the reason i think uh it's kind of like not completely killing off the android emulator market but in some are close to it and uh it is kind of uh like going into the niche where it uh it has this official uh keyboard and mouse support which the developers have been worked on and you don't have to externally like port softwares or you have to manually like tweak it like you do in uh blue stacks and stuff like that you have to manually tweak in the controller support in games like PUBG and other games like that so hopefully there will be more games that will have mouse and controller support on uh like on the pc and it obviously it's gonna release on the tv os and stuff like that so that would be pretty exciting to see other tv that don't have the go official google uh os my, will get this playstation uh, not this playstation this uh google play support and with their new battle pass but not battle pass their new uh, pass subscription which is kind of like game pass they will have more such apps that will be coming up that are paid applications that you will be able to play free I'm going to talk about that in the next video so stay tuned for that but right now uh this is for this is me talking about and me feeling excited about these kind of uh, emulators now uh before I go I'm going to quickly install and show you how the control support uh, like the how the keyboard and mouse support is I'm just going to install angry birds because it's the smallest game that I can install like obviously and uh, it will be a quick download of me uh, downloading it and on live and showing you how actually uh it's downloading so it's taking a bit time because currently i'm using vpn and stuff like that uh so it's kind of like slow right now but hopefully it will be a uh, much uh higher speed when i have my like i would say clean in like it's pure internet instead of just going through vpn and stuff like that so So you can see it's installed once I click play. I think it's gonna launch another window. So I'll, I'll switch the window to show you how the game looks like. And here we are on Angry Birds. So you can officially see Angry Birds is showing shift plus tab to see uh to check game volume and it has complete integration of you can check you can change resolution like you can you do on your pc games you can view game controls i mean the game is not open yet so it's not going to show you but you can control the volume you can control the screen resolution you can exit from full screen mode you can exit the game and a bunch of features that uh obviously uh won't be there like they will have the like the ultimate game like gaming set uh, setting menu like you cannot change like the shadows and stuff like that obviously because these are mobile games that have been emulated but they have Change a lot, and you can see the game looks absolutely great. I mean, there are Angry Birds games that are available on the PC on Steam as well. But playing the original OG version that was on the on the phone is really exciting, and I know it's a bit loud, which I will have to reduce the volume for. But you can basically understand how the emulator works, right? And you get an idea of how this 
but if laminator works and so so basically that's that and thank you all for watching the video hope you like this video found this so interesting if so press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in the next video till then peace out <laughs>